welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm back with another sewing video but today it is not diy it is made from whole fabric so this is the design that i drew and i'm going to make it now so i have like uh, almost two meters with me so i'm going to cut it in half and set aside one piece so I again cut it in half for the top and the bottom piece. So we're gonna set one aside and make our patterns. So first we're going to be taking our measuring tape and measure the top part of the dress first, which is the tube. It is measured 16 by 10 inches. So we're going to be cutting two of those for the front and the back. Now that we have the top pieces, so let's move on for the sleeves. So we're going to be cutting out two long pieces for the sleeves measured 16 by 8.5. So now that we have the base of the sleeves, we're going to be cutting the designs on the sides of the sleeves. Ooh, that's some tongue twister, but here we have a rectangle and then we're going to be cutting it into four. So I have another rectangular piece here and we're going to be cutting it into two. So now we're finally moving on to the bottom part of the dress, but the top part of the skirt does have a particular design. It has like a curvy pyramid at the top, so it's going to be measured by 23 inches long and 17 in width. So as you can see, it has this pointy part, so we're going to be taking 3 inches before it curves. Right now, I am drawing a curve with a 3 inch guide I marked earlier. I folded both of the fabrics together to make it easier and make it more symmetrical to cut. So that's what it basically looks like. I think you got the picture. So we're just going to do some more cutting adjustments on the side and then we're going to be proceeding on the sewing. I folded both of the fabrics again and measured 9.5 inches from the center. And from that point, I created a diagonal line that meets the side of the fabric. I pinned it down so that the fabric wouldn't move when I start to cut it. So here's all of our pieces and all we need to do is to sew them and this is the bottom piece and here's the top piece which is the tube part and this is the sleeves, the off shoulder sleeves and of course we don't want it to keep it too simple so here's the designs on the sides of the sleeves. So let's start off with our top piece and let's start sewing. So it's pretty simple, I just sewed on the sides of the fabric to make a little tube. I run on the fabric twice to make it more sturdy. So here's the rough edges and as always we fold it twice and then sew it. I did that on both sides to make it clean. At the front of the tube, I gathered the fabric to make a ribbon-like effect at the front and sewed it with the needle and thread by hand. So here we got the sleeves and same as the tube, I sewed on the sides. So again with the rough edges, we're going to be folding that twice and then sewing it. So here it is sewed on both edges and on both sleeves. If you were wondering what these were, they're strings that will scrunch the fabric if you pull on them. So we're going to be folding it and sewing a straight line down to all four of the same pattern. So we're going to be flipping it inside out with a safety pin to make a clean finish. I did that four times for the four fabrics. 
So we're going to be taking our rectangle pattern and sew it on the center inside of the sleeve. So we're going to be sewing three lines on the middle, on the right side, and on the left side to make three lines parallel to each other and make two holes on the middle of them. I'm going to take a safety pin and pin it to one of the strings to make it more easier to grab the string at the other end of the hole. And I'm going to do that to both of the holes. So now I'm gently pulling the string to align onto the rectangular fabric and pin it in place. After that, I'm going to be sewing a straight line to lock everything in place. Moving on to the bottom, I'm folding the fabric twice to remove again the rough edges on the curved part of the skirt. I'm doing that on both sides to make a clean edge. Now we're going to be stitching on both sides of the skirt. And for the last part of the skirt, we're going to be removing that rough edges, so we're going to be folding it twice and then finally sewing it. Finally, we're almost done. We just have to put everything in place. To attach the sleeves, I had to use a needle and thread for this. And finally, after all that, we're done! I hope you guys like the final results and of course the dress design. I drew and designed it myself, I am pretty proud of it. And I hope I gave some inspiration for you to try and sew your own designs. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for another video. Bye bye